everyone, welcome to the world of biochemistry. I'm your instructor throughout this course and my contact information is my email uh, tbas at wsu.edu and my office is at tb343. And before we start, let me just give you an introduction about the structure of the course, which you have it in your handouts, but still it's, it's important uh, that I touch it because some of you might not be used to this kind of structure. This will be a hybrid course, which is it has face-to-face -face sessions like this one, which is composed of the lectures and lab sessions. And it's going to also have online part. And um, here you can find the meeting times and places. The lectures will be Mondays and Wednesdays in the mornings from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And the lab sessions will be Tuesdays from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the afternoon and um, the online course week runs from Thursdays through Wednesdays and um, this you already have in your handouts and as well as the description and requirements and uh, the syllabus and if you have any questions regarding the course structure I suggest you read out your handouts first and think about it and if you still have questions, please come and ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you. But first, whatever material that we hand you in, it can be lab, it can be a part of the online session, it can be part of the lecture, I advise you to read it like multiple times and think about things before you come and ask. And uh, also I'd like to make, take this time to make you a friendly suggestion about the course. Most of you has taken um, chemistry, biology courses during high school, you know, and or in the first year of college, and you might think that, you know, especially in the beginning, you very well know about these topics. It's just, you know, like some prerequisite to get your degree, you know, or and you can start very light and you can be very naive. And you would be right. So up until the first midterm, things will be easy but it, things will start getting gradually harder and harder which means that you should know this in advance so never never underestimate it never feel too comfortable about things okay so I, I really really want you to take my advice and take the course seriously from day one starting from today and it's better to wake up now than later so, do we have any questions so far? Oh, yes, yes, I have office hours. And so, the online hours will be Tuesday, 6.30, 7.30 p.m. by appointment. And we have the text material as well, so it's a Leninger, and it's the fifth edition. And again, I will be available anytime, so just make sure that, you know, um, tell me in advance, so that we can just plan on getting together. Okay, that's great. So, uh, do you have any more questions about the course structure, the syllabus, it can be anything. Okay. If not, I'll have some questions for you just to get to know you and it's going to help with my teaching. Uh, first of all, the first question is, how many years of chemistry did you have in high school or the first years of college? So, please raise your hands if you had no exposure to chemistry at all in your life okay everyone had some kind of an exposure, that's good so please raise your hand if you have a semester of exposure to chemistry and okay, one, two, three great and please raise your hand if you had a year of exposure which means that two semesters or three semesters Okay, that's great. And finally, if you have two years or more of chemistry exposure, and please raise your hands. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I mean, that's great, perfect. I mean, we have a great class, like most of you had quite a lot of exposure. So the average is, I guess, like a year exposure to chemistry. Um, this, is, this is great. So, and my second question is, 
how many years of biology you had in again you know high school first years of uh, college and please raise your hand if that's none okay so please raise your hand if it's just a semester we have a couple and please raise your hand if you had like one year which means again like two or three semesters please Okay, so you like biology more than apparently chemistry. And if you had two or more years of biology experience, please raise your hands. Excellent. Oh, excellent. We have a power class, so I'm sure we'll have so much fun. Again, the average is more than one or two years. So I'm assuming there are some of you who wants to go to medical school. So now that's my last question. Do you plan to go to medical school? You can be hesitant, you haven't decided maybe, but this is going to help me again shake my class. So please raise your hand if your answer is yes. Oh, okay, so we have lots of medical school candidates here. Okay, thank you very much. And please raise your hand if you're hesitant. I see. And please raise your hand if you want or not planning to go. It's a no. Okay, okay, so great. So uh, many of you wants to go to med school, that's good. So we have to shape the classes accordingly, including lab sessions and online sessions. So uh, yeah, this is great. So uh, we'll have so much fun. And I have my statistics, which will help me uh, how I should be teaching. And um, so now it's time for the lecture. Let's start the lecture. It's our first lecture. So. What's biochemistry? So what do you think you will be or you should be learning in this class? What's your expectations? Let's, let's give like a couple of minutes to discuss uh, what biochemistry means to you. Yes? Yeah, right, definitely. Biochemistry is the science of living things, understanding living things. That's correct. And anyone else? Yes, please. Very well defined. Biochemistry uses chemistry to understand biology and biological concepts of living things. That's correct. And yeah, I mean, all these are great answers. Like, and now let's take a look at their textbook definition and let's go through them uh, one by one. We can like derive infinite. That's why I start from definition one and I'm to the definition infinity. Many different ways to describe what biochemistry is. But, you know, a couple of things here that, you know, like give you a brief picture and like you said, it's the branch of science concerned with the chemical and physical chemical processes that occur within the living organisms. So yes, this is a definition. And also, it's the application of chemistry, just like you said, to study biological processes at the cellular and molecular level, again, in living things. And we can just, you know, like, describe these things in, in multiple ways. And there's another definition that I like. It's the study of living organisms, the atoms and the molecules which comprise the living organisms. So these are all, like, um, basically relating everything to life. Right? Understanding the life. And to me, what biochemistry is, it's the power, it's the knowledge to understand what we are. So by this, what I mean is, all living things are made of cells. And understanding how a cell lives, functions, multiplies and dies on molecular level is understanding really what we are. So biochemistry provides us with this knowledge, with this tool to understand how we really function at the molecular level as all living things. And, and now I'll show you a five minute video animation that is provided by the Harvard University we chose the animation of the inner life of a cell and um, 
this link is also in your handouts, lecture handouts. And if you watch this video, like the first time here in the class, in this class, you will not understand. You like the music, you like the animations. But as we go through our classes, you will really see at the molecular level which molecule is doing what to keep the cell going. So this is very important. So this movie, you'll watch it now, you'll have fun, but then maybe end of the class, maybe end of the entire course, we'll watch it again. And then you'll tell me what you see, what is really going on in, in the inner life of a living cell. So now let's look at the video briefly. Let's see if this works. And yes, it's working. Let you watch. <laughs> 